Well, a key part of the strategy from the very beginning is to undermine the idea of scientific consensus because if there are many, many studies that show this, and, and one of the things we know about the tobacco industry and also some of the early work by, done by the fossil fuel industry is they actually studied these things. They did market research with focus groups to figure out what is effective in changing people's minds about these matters. And one of the things they discovered in their own market research was that if you can persuade people that there's no scientific consensus, then people will think that it would be premature to act. So if you're the tobacco industry, the government is proposing regulation, proposing tobacco control, and you're trying to push back tobacco control, you say, well, hold on a minute, we don't really know that smoking is dangerous. There's no scientific consensus. And market research shows that if you persuade people that there's no consensus, they say, yeah, well, in that case, let's wait and see. So it's a very, very powerful strategy that we know works. And this is why you hear them saying as a kind of mantra, there's no consensus, the science isn't settled, you know, we have experts who don't agree, um, there's still a lot of uncertainty, there's considerable uncertainty, you know, you hear this phrase, considerable uncertainty, repeated over and over again. And of course, part of the strategy is to stay on message. So they'll say this over and over and over again, you know, there's a lot of doubt, there's considerable uncertainty, and this is where the, the title Merchants of Doubt came from, because they're selling doubt. And of course, we know that they even admitted that themselves, because one of the most famous documents in all of the tobacco, millions and millions of pages of tobacco uh, documents, is a document in which an industry executive says, doubt is our product.